everyone. I am Ruggero. I work at Ara Science Park, which is a research center in the northeast of Italy. And I'm here to talk about the, uh, a small uh, project that we are uh, developing in, our, in my group, that is the integration testing environment for mixed HPC and cloud workloads. So I, I think you, not all of you are aware of how an HPC cluster works. So to summarize it up, basically what you do is that you connect via SSH to a, what is approximately a bastion. You ask for resources to Slarm, which is a, a cluster manager. And uh, then you wait. You wait until the resources are available. This is uh, kind of like Kubernetes. It's just that uh, when your jobs come in, um, it's, uh, all the resources are available at that point in time. And then you run your code, or so a code that someone else work in a distributed system. Tricky part is that uh, the system must be all aligned uh, all the machines that you are asked for must be aligned, and you are lucky if containers are involved because it's a very uh, old code often, and it uses technologies that have not yet been ported there. So at the end, you collect and analyze the data. So th this is set up the framework for the problems that we have to address, and one is test the upgrades before uh, going into production. So one uh, test that we have to perform quite often and happens uh, uh, regularly is the uh, that we have regression, for example, in the InfiniBand or, remote, or when we perform a remote direct memory access over converged Ethernet or SRIOV. I mean, these are all technologies that breaks quite often with a kernel's update. So uh, from what concern, uh, the uh, other problems that we have to face is that we have to integrate and develop new tools for the distributed infrastructure, and we cannot have a second infrastructure where people can develop it on. And we have students and uh, uh, interns that, that, that we have to train in order to be able to use the whole infrastructure and possibly manage it. So to the, uh, what we developed on, well, we, we chose the, the classical virtualization stack. We have QEMO, KVM, LibVirt, and Vagrant to perform the uh, first layer um, provisioning of the virtualization infrastructure. We use a lot of Ansible uh, in order to configure it, and we orchestrate, every, we co orchestrate the server part of Zlurm with Kubernetes. The testing environment constitute, uh, is constituted of approximately six virtual machines, one that, has, that uses FreePA for the identity management system. Why, why such a complex identity management system? Uh, well, the answer is that in the environment where we are, we are strongly connected with laboratories. Uh, we have uh, uh, often to um, offer users and services or also to uh, remote locations, not only within our data center, and that's why we use something, something that is so complex. We have a login node that is the bastion that I cited before, a couple of compute nodes that basically only the only thing they do in this context is ping pong themselves, uh, K3S for, uh, for cluster, and a machine that tests backup, uh, very important thing. Uh, how does it look like? Well, it's all in an Ansible playbook. So, sorry, it's a sequence of Ansible playbook that you just have to uh, run to execute it. Uh, resources that are needed in order to run it, well, we try to keep it lean. We have a 30 gigabyte of RAM, this discrete computational power, and we test it only on Fedora 39 and plus because we, have, we are a very small group. If you want to try it, you have the um, Git repo here. Uh, works that we are doing at the moment, we test uh, regularly Zloom, uh, Zloom and then PI communication. We use it for policy development. Uh, we are working on a, um, uh, we are in a very early stage of working on a Zloom uh, operator for Kubernetes. If someone uh, is working on the same line, please uh, c come uh, uh, contact me because I'm really interested in it. Interested in it. And we train, as I said, the uh, technician and students. Future step, we want to add self-distributed storage uh, for, the, for the whole infrastructure because this will cover both the HPC side and the Kubernetes side. And we want to move to realistic networking to include BG BGP in a NetLab fashion. Uh, if you don't know, uh, this is a very interesting project where you can uh, create very complex uh, networking infrastructure and in is open source. Um, step that we have discarded, uh, automated provisioning, we have tried it, uh, but it's, uh, it comes out to be too complex, and then we stick to vagrant boxes, and uh, thank you. <laughs>